Hey everybody, Light Brawler here once again, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei 5. Or, well, this is technically going to be the finale. <coughs> Last time we finished uh, two things we stopped Kansu from taking over uh, Miyazu, and we also defeated Shiva. And I had, I'm, as I stated previously, I have two separate files, but I am going to go through the uh, story because I can't stream it sadly because atlas will will uh despise me for like all eternity so instead we're gonna actually be doing it a little bit off stream so i have everything set up to record so once we go through these doors we we there's only a few things left to do and these are the final like uh scenes This is the temple's top floor. The path should open once we offer the three keys. At last, we are free to walk the path to the Empyrean. There lies the end and the beginning. The source of the eternal light that reforges our world. The Nahobino who reaches it can mold the world as they so choose. Be that divine architect. Pass through the Empyrean, and take your place on the throne. Do not forget, some aim to usurp your newfound reign. Show them no hesitation. Tokyo abided by your gods' whims, yet it was destroyed. Is that Bethel's justice? Consider its destruction inevitable, for God's anger burns many and spares none. Silence, Angel! I fight to restore Tokyo no matter what some sick god desires! I'll do everything I can to bring it back! Hear him well, messenger. The world belongs to a host of the Divine, not some misguided dictator. This one rejects the order of the Creator, ushering forth the era of the myriad gods. Maintain order in this world is to give it all to God. Everything. That includes even our own lives. Ichiro Dazai, why do you show yourself here? 
I'm here to do what needs to be done. Even if I stray from the path, I'll do whatever I have to do. It doesn't matter. So long as we win. God's word remains unchanging. As Archangel, I am sworn to defend it. And if I must taint myself as an Akubino to do so, then we shall carry out his will as one! This one, a staunch believer in the Creator's order, even defying his will to enforce it. One side desires the throne for a land reborn anew, while the other pines for the world of old. Such a position of power cannot remain vacant for eternity. A leader must rise and take it. You must take it. Uh, well now, that was, uh, kind of creepy. Young man. Young man. Are you well? You suddenly stopped moving. Nothing I said would reach you. But if it was nothing, I'm relieved. Let us keep moving. Hey, thought you'd be here. Nice work clearing the way to the Empyrean. Now, onward, my brother, for the throne and all the world is now the Amatsukamis. Hold it! There's no need for all that. We'll just entrust everything to God. You're the smart guy here, right? It's been bugging me since the summit. Zeus and Odin were big-time gods, but both of them wanted it all. They were never gonna play nice. So what do you think is gonna happen in your world of gods? Endless war. What are you... You know these gods will eat each other alive! They will never see eye to eye. But here's the thing. If we just let the Creator do his work, Everyone will get their fair share. Don't you get it? How could someone who is all-powerful, all-seeing, all-knowing ever steer us wrong? He speaks the truth. And protecting this divine order has ever been my sacred duty as Archangel. Yet I see that in my fettered angel form, I cannot hope to prevail against you. That much I concede. But for the Almighty, and the world he gave us, I shall embrace darkness as a fallen angel! Don't tell me you. 
I will uphold God's will at all costs. Even if it condemns me and severs me from his grace. Just like that serpent in the garden. Ah, Abdiel. No matter how much you change on the outside, your faith as an archangel is unshakable! You fools would bite into the forbidden fruit with God's name upon your lips. Even so, the new world is mine to create. And when my world of infinite gods is born, we will protect Japan far better than you ever could. Not so fast. Sounds like you forgot about us. Indeed. The Empyrean throne is rightfully ours. Though, of course, we have something a little different in mind for it. With my own two hands, I will destroy that throne. And humanity will shape their own world. Must make haste as well, Ichiro Bazai. Defies God in his own name, betraying his word for his will. One seeks to open up heaven and rebuild the world as he rebuilt his divine kin. Truly, this was an unexpected development. My original aim was much different. You have fought through the opposing forces of chaos and order. Here, at the end of all things, where do your loyalties lie? What path does your heart long for? And this is where we basically have our selection of three different paths. Depending on the path that we actually choose, we have specific uh, situations and scenarios that are going to happen. And mean we face certain bosses and there's a specific quest in what's beyond the door to actually get uh, specific demons so we could choose between upholding God's order recreating the world and save Tokyo or destroying the throne however there is a secret ending but we have to go through destroying the throne and your will has been made known to me Thus will I await you beyond heaven and earth. So we blocked in our selection. So this is... <sighs> it has been a long journey. You have done well in coming this far. We stand before the Pillar Imperial. A path of light that leads Nohobino to the highest heaven. And yet, it appears your heart does not seek creation. But that very creation is the will of the universe itself. And I cannot aid one who denies that vision.
Well, uh... Carry an entire world's potential, yet you do not use it. You must not proceed. If you refuse to heed these words, know that you stand against the will of the universe itself. Well, we're going in there. Sorry. But, unfortunately, because of that, Tao leaves our party permanently. So... Kinda sucks. So we got a couple of things that we actually gonna do the next. The little quest that we got is actually one that we're gonna actually wrap up a certain uh, story point. Oh, that was a fizz dampener, so we can't carry any more of those. And there's a uh, Dem Demeter. Ordinarily, envoys such as ourselves would not be permitted to enter. However, Anahobino has opened the door and thinks that we may now pass. Naturally, those of Bethel will stay in the Archangel Abdi. Those heretical demons shan't, shan't set one foot inside. Oh! Oh! It can't be! You deserve to know. I owe you an apology. I approach you that you might get rid of those evil demons in my way. But at the end of it all, I was planning on killing you myself. Huh? I'm afraid it's there. true. I've been deceiving you! My, my. You're so kind! Somehow I had a feeling you would forgive me. But I know I'm the one in the wrong. That's why I shall protect you with my life. Huh? Very soon, Zeus will be here. He knows just how strong you are, so he'll surely hold nothing back. Yes, Zeus too traces his origin back to the Bull God. By using your soul, he can achieve his form as a Naho Bino. Originally, my plan was to kill you, that I might see Zeus claim the throne, after which he would create the rich and fertile world I dreamed of. But I believe you will cherish and guide humanity more than Zeus ever would, after seeing what sort of person you are. How could I think otherwise? Harvest. So my course is set. Should you and Zeus end up opposed, I will stand with you. In fact, you should leave here quickly. Make for the throne while you can. Should you shatter it, your soul will be no good to him anymore. He will give up the chase. What will you do? Will you confront Zeus? Harvest time. Such abundant blessings you give me, yet I would expect no less of you. Then I shall go on with you. Are you fully prepared to face him? Demeter joined your party, and she's now available for fusion. <laughs> ah, Zeus is here. <laughs> we meet again. I was thinking I'd be the better man let you have the throne, but if you can be my mortal counterpart, that changes everything. I once supported a human named Dulcaran and charged across the battlefield with him. If I team up with you, I wager we could shoot for even greater heights. <laughs> I won't allow that. I've chosen to side with light. <sighs> Sister, after all this time, after how far we've come, now you turn on me? You were always a hard one to read. <sighs> Well, no matter, I'm not in the business of showing mercy to my enemies, any sister, and I'll not make an exception for you. <laughs> As for you, Naho Bino, don't think I've learned from your little stunt last time. There's no escape! Your soul is mine by right, and I will hear no objections over the clash of thunder. So pretty much like last time, he's still weak uh, to win. I could use, uh, my Maga too, but I want to, like, hold on to it for now. Defense hit rock bottom. We blocked that, so thank you for wasting your turn on me. Uh, do that. Mm, I should have done it on the first turn, but you know what? Don't want to make it uh, too easy, I guess.
Well, thanks to that, we're pretty much uh, getting him down to like half. As if you really. Well, I might want to have some turn, extra turn, so we could still use a. I should have some fortune, so yeah. And now I have to hope to get a crit. Okay, the Freight Kugel didn't crit there. That's kind of sad. Uh, defense hit rock bottom. Well. That was unfortunate for him. He wasted his turn, and they're the only one that really took any damage. Even with that being a crit. Oh, we got a nice crit there. This will do. Oh, another round after using another duck window. This Maracuma might be able to take it out. And like with the first boss, that was flashy. We got Zeus's essence and the large glory curse slow, we got some level ups. Really? Really? You beat me twice, you magnificent bastard! No. Even if I become a Nahobino, even then I don't know if I could take you! <laughs> well, I know when to quit. The next world's yours to rule, and damn you, I'm actually excited to see what you Till do next with it. Time. Just don't go getting yourself killed before you claim your prize now. Harvest time! Ah, you've reaped a truly grateful harvest! You truly are the greatest ear of rice! And likewise, the seeds for your scatter shall yield a future of unimaginable plenty. It falls to us to sow those seeds across the world. Come on, let's Perfect. go. That is, let us depart. And we also got Demeter's Essence and more experience. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, we got another Amanozako Essence. And we got a beat. And now we can uh, unlock Zeus for fusion. Let's go back and heal up. And. Before we, like, proceed. So we're going to be probably traveling around some quarters and we may get some boss fights. Oh, we're being blocked. It is said that the path of God reflects the hearts of those who walk it. Tell me, what do you see? Is it a twisted wayward path or is it straight and narrow, one that won't lead you astray? Either way, I, Metelzadek, shall judge whether you are fit to rule. Oh, 
Oh, we missed one of them. Sad. Oh, we'll fix that. Ah, they all lived. And they're about to go down. Thank you for the healing. Shall proceed. <laughs> Tsukuyomi of the Amatsu colony has become a Nahobino, and thus he has set out to create his new world of gods. We bow to no one. However, though we may not see eye to eye with the Amatsukami, it seems the world we want is the same. In which case, it's time to forego the grudges of the past. We shall go to Tsukuyomi's side and lend him our aid. We'll talk about it. That being a strange chain of events. Uh, oh, it's over there. We need to go up. <laughs> oh, we're getting cornered again. <laughs> Those who came here before you demonstrated a conviction most admirable. Can your soul surpass theirs, I wonder? I shall be the one to determine the answer. resist it and we block it and they also get a little healing out of that. Ooh, nice damage. Server still level up. All right, up these stairs. And here we have another quest. Or if we, if we had a certain amount of uh, demons in the compendium, we would uh, be able to get a quest from her. I am the goddess Maria. The end of this age draws near, thus the world shall be born anew. Likewise, my role as the hubbly mother is over. All that remains is for me to disappear. So, uh, if we basically had in this file a 75% compendium completion, we would be able to face Maria in one of different forms. And depending on the uh, ending that the path that we're actually going to walk on, uh, we would get specific. Uh, specific ones. So, if, since we picked the destroy the phone one, throne one, we would actually get uh, Danu, which is a Celtic goddess. But uh, that will be something I will show uh, in a little bit, because we're just going through this to like summarize everything that uh, happens. I don't get those again. I'll just worry about that for later. I think this this one's a sand up one essence. Oh no, that's a little go. There is a sand on essence uh, in one of those chat those uh things. <laughs> Excuse me. Have to like uh. I think it's actually one of these ones. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Yeah, there's Vishu's Destins and... Oh, that's a BJ. Oh, this is the path that had the Sindelphin Destins. 
They also have a gospel and, and three grimoires, which we don't really need right now. collecting the last bits of treasure that we'll ever probably get in this game ever. Going up. Like this is a fairly straightforward uh, walkway for the most part. Oh, there was a thing of treasure I didn't get. We've got Beelzebub's Essence. We're getting the good stuff. Oh, Chakra Pots. We always use those for MP. Attack Mirror. And a Bomb of Life. And a dubiously positioned safe point. So, another Nahobino comes. Then you must be tested. Show me the power of that Nahobino. Show me the power that rivals that of the throne. Alright, well, Alula is another thing that we're gonna have to face, I guess. She has, like, less health than Sarosha did, so that's kind of funny. I know that she resists light and darkness, but that's pretty much it. She's otherwise, uh, free damage. Oh boy, she's calling allies, and that's not fun. Goodbye, Crystal of, like, Weird Earth. I'll just love tap you and that's it. And now, time for the Dubious Safe Point. Let's recover real quick. And save, save, save. I know I'm going to be going back to that second save file, but that's, uh... That's going to be for another time. You can hear some sort of argument at the top of the stairs. What kind of argument? Who's arguing up there? Uh-oh. Yakumo and Nuwa are down. What was that about humans not needing gods or demons? All that talk, and look where it got you! Are you alright, Yakumo? <sighs> Do you really think this will be enough to stop me? The very reason you can put up resistance at all is by the grace of our Lord. This is but a trial he has laid before me. And you are but a pawn in his grand design. In that case, I will see that your trial concludes at the end of my blade. Humanity's future is in our hands. He doesn't know when to quit. It's time we end this. Dazai, lend me your power!
So this is the power of the Nahobino. Yakumo. Yakumo, get up. Oof. You took a nasty hit. I'm sorry, Nua. You should never have been dragged into this. From now on, you're free to act of your own accord. So you've come. I fought for the future of mankind, but it seems this is as far as I go. Tell me, boy, have you any consideration for humanity? If so, might you bear this burden? Succeed where we failed. Cease your begging. It's pitiful. It's clear I've lost, and I was always meant to. <laughs> I may not have created my ideal world, but I'll die as I lived, true to myself. Oh boy. Ah, the proto fiend who shattered God's natural order. Your presence in the Empyrean can mean only one thing. You too seek to recreate the world. Have problems. Well, her defense is down at the very least, and we can actually get to work on hitting Watch her hard with some heavy crits. Taking a bit of damage. Now, are you still weak to ice in this one? Yes. Yep, you're still weak to ice. Defense hit rock bottom. Getting some really nice damage. Like, he's over down to half with, uh, Entire stack team. Ooh, she's in their head oh, after one turn. Idea. I see. I can certainly understand how you were able to defeat me once before. Taste the awesome might of an Ahobino. But now I too am an Ahobino. Now you will know my power. Uh oh. Purgatorium. Super Kaja. 
and Makara Karn. Not afford to hold anything back. It is time to end this. No more games then. If it takes all my might, then so be it. Interesting. And he got a uh, Frey Kugel. Perfect. And now Demeter's immune to force. That's unfortunately the it, it for them. The fact that our own friends are becoming enemies. Unfortunate. No, we gotta press onward. Just what kind of world would you come so far to create? His wish is the same as Yakumo's. He seeks to destroy the throne. Is that so? You'll be the one to carry on Yakumo's will? In that case, allow me to disclose another possibility. You know all too well that Yakumo and I sought to destroy the throne. However, that was far from our ultimate plan. Our true cause for fighting was to claim the throne and use it to create a world void of both gods and demons. A clean slate, so to speak. Do keep that in mind. And that particular cutscene is actually a very secret cutscene, which we had to do a couple of things in order to get that. The first is that we had to actually get through Fionn McCoomhale's uh, quest line involving people of the fairy village. The second was to actually spare Konsu through the Egyptian storyline, which we did, and not kill him at all at any point. And the third was to actually defeat Shiva in his realm, which we also did, so we got that cutscene as a bonus after defeating Abdiel. But we should probably make one more save because there's going to probably be another boss fight coming up. And we're getting into 50 hours, which between grinding and doing like other stuff, that's, I'd say pretty average. Like if you're, I would say that 50 to 60 hours for like a first playthrough is not too bad. All right, we're actually heading upstairs.
go, go. So, you've come. This is the Hall of Creation, resting place of the throne. Now, as to who will claim it, frankly, it matters not to me. I thought I might find you here. I expected as much from the one who wields my brother's power. But if our goals do not align, there can be no reconciliation, not even with you. the time to settle this. A crash between two true gods. Determine who is more worthy of the throne. Come. All right, Sukuyomi. Well, his attack power is down. So, if I recall correctly, I think. We're going to be weak to fire, and I was correct. Ooh, we got a crit in there. That's two. I'm gonna let your defense hit rock bottom, so you can have like less, more things to worry about. That's me at the max. Nice, nice uh, try. We have one of our teammates that reflects that, and that's Sandalf on. You ready? Alright, time to crit hard. Kumas are hitting for like that much. That's pretty spicy. And that's just with crits. Oof. It's down in the red. Ah, that was a nice try. We blocked that. Alright, 
sorry. Use this when you're in the pinch. I'll be devastated if you were to die. Uh, critical jump. There goes Sukuyomi. And unfortunately, that means user too. Well done. None of them deserve that. The Nahobino who will take the throne has been determined. Thus, I shall fulfill my role. For ages, I have watched over this world. But at last, I can administer my true duty. Now, take the throne. Become its new ruler. Nahobino, you have the potential to rule this world. You truly wish the throne destroyed? With such great power at your disposal, there's surely another way to achieve your goal. I ask that you carefully consider your decision. Create a world for humanity alone. This is the secret ending. Yakuma's last wish come true. This marks the birth of a new creator, a new world in his image. My true name is Amitabha. I exist to serve as the light of creation. Now let your will be done. By the power of the throne, may your ideal world be revealed. Young man, this is farewell. Artificial though I may be, I am still a demon. 
As such, I shall disappear with the rest. I am proud to have made this journey with you. Truly I am. Hold there. Won't you listen to what I have to say? As new ruler, you have chosen to eradicate all traces of gods and demons from the very fabric of existence. However, humankind is fated to give rise to demons. Your vision cannot hope to last, no matter what you do. And yet, there is a way to accomplish this. Do you wish to know what that is? You will find me in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Best come prepared. So it looks like we've got traveling to the realm beyond earth and heavens will mean that you can no longer return to the world you once knew. Proceed only when you're absolutely certain that you're ready. Well, that was a uh, interesting turn of events. And we got the uh, throne room. So that probably will be the last true boss of the game. But we are at, we do have a save file that currently in progress that has a couple more things that we've uh, finished. So, for starters, I actually do have a slightly updated party. I have a couple more pers- or not personas. I feel like, uh... We get personas and everything else, like, mixed up. But we have, uh... Danu. If we defeat Maria, who takes on this form, she will actually become, uh... This lovely leading lady, and she's primarily a light user and a healer. But she also could use ice skills as well, so that's not too bad to, uh, have on hand. I should consider my options with, like, the team, so I may just switch over Shiva and Beelzebub. We have a bunch of other stuff as well that I made, because I wanted to try to get, uh, the Persona, the, the Compendium, I should say, just up to, uh, 75% so we could do, we could do that particular quest. But I think we're ready. I just hope that I have enough mana to, like, uh, sustain. We have five bee chains. We still have 18 Taraka drops. Five chakra pots. We still have a Soma. I have no idea what's going to happen. But we're gonna do it anyway. So let's go. Will you travel to the rift beyond the realm between the earth and heavens? Yes. Possess such incredible power, no doubt means you are able to see my true form. 
Look upon me. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun! As the Lord of Chaos, I defeated the Creator, consumed his knowledge, and became more than he could possibly imagine. It was then I came to understand this world. Allow me to share what I'd learned. Well, uh... Watch this. We'll show you what we can find. Level 90. Miss? Well, that sucks. The fact that we actually missed. That's how you're supposed to hit, and he looks like paper. Nice try, you block- we block that. We've come pretty prepared. Ah, he resists pretty much anything, that's why you, That's kind of why you need to have anyone that uses Almighty. So you can just be like, no, I don't care about your resistances. You can't resist, uh, Almighty. No one's free. Oh! Face change. the world's recreation, a new dot will eventually appear. And soon after, the gods will rise up to claim the throne. Battle after battle, you sought to purge demons from this world, but they will come slithering back, as they always do. This endless cycle is the result of a spatial governing phenomenon known as the Mandala System. Do you not wish to be free of such restrictions? Do you not wish to be free from Mandala's eternal machinations? Well, you we still get a turn. Oh, he has more health now. <clears throat> nope. Denied. Uh, this costs less. Ooh, nice crit. Magma Axis. Hot dark matter. Attack up to max. How about no?
I was like, how about no? Uh, you need to just have... Uh, you... Should just, uh, use this. To restore some MP, because you need it badly. attacking the people that actually have immunities, and he's attacking some Dolphon, like... You're attacking the person that actually has, like, that blocks everything and reflects ice and darkness. So I have, like, the best partner, uh, for this. Oh, nice crit! Searched for a way to truly be free. At last, I have found but one possibility. End me. Consume my knowledge, and with it, wrest this world from the Mandala's endless eons. This is the reason for my transcendence. Lightning of God. Well, that didn't work out in your favor. Is hit to rock bottom again. Ah, tornado. I think it's safer than switching in at least for this situation. Seems like he's getting cracked. Wow, look at that money! Why, hello. An Amrita shower. Say. A strength bomb.
So that's it. With what Lucifer has shared, the world you create will be everlasting. True, unrestricted freedom, born from eons of battle. All that's left is to add the final touches. Gods and demons have no place in the world, at least not in yours. It seems this is truly farewell. Still, our souls are one and the same, and all you do will be as I would have done. It's in your hands. Make it so. And that's it. That's actually the uh, end of Shin Megami Tensei 5. I, I actually am very, like, you know, I actually really enjoyed the game itself. And. Ooh. That, that was a lot to take in. But. I actually was very surprised that, you know, I, I'm very glad that I got to play a. SNT five SNT game, and you know that kind of stuff is actually something that you know you don't get to. I don't really get to do, because I do like the Persona series, but at the same time I also like just don't have the time for it, or I just don't have like the right consoles. While I do have a PS4 and I could play uh, Royal, I just don't really have the time for it, and I don't really use my PS4 anymore. But to actually be able to have a uh, classic like 
the Shin Megami Tensei, which is where Persona was, like, based on. I think it was an interesting and good starting point. You know, and I actually, you know, had fun with it. Sure, I think that the game's difficulty was higher when I started, and I kind of, like, cheesed my way by leveling, like, consistently and constantly off-stream, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the sake of the story, because I do enjoy- I did enjoy it. Even if that times just did not make sense, things just got completely, like, turned on its head axis for, like, every single time. But, I actually had a lot of fun. You know, and I- hopefully that I could potentially do more, uh, games like this, but... I don't know if I want to do another Atlas game anytime soon, because I do have SMT3 Nocturne, but after seeing the fact that we had... that we can do a certain things like this ending on stream, it's kind of disappointing, so I don't know if uh, I'll do another Atlas game anytime soon. But... That's just, like, you know... We'll actually just go through the credits, once we get done, and it'll probably give us some, some unlocks. I, once you get through the uh, ending, we'll actually be able to get fusions for like... Uh, by default, for, for finishing any of the endings we get, uh, from what I looked up, we get fusions for Nuwa and Abdiel. In both their forms, respective forms, so that's going to be interesting to do. But we'll also... Uh, See what other stuff will actually pop up. Maybe I'll do the uh, Return of the True Demon King at some point, but anyways, we will just let the credits roll and listen to this music about of the galaxy. And thus ended the world of man. With the new ruler came a new world order. It was an order akin to the world of old, and yet it was altogether different. Desires of a world free from demons, of a never-ending cycle of creation at last being broken, had led to this moment.
But all things must eventually come to an end. Could the world truly exist apart from Mandala? Only the cosmos know what tomorrow will bring. And that's it. That's Shin Megami Tensei 5. Nuwa has been available for fusion. Abdiel is available for fusion. Fallen Abdiel is available for fusion. And preparing to save clear data. By loading this clear data, you will be able to start a new game plus from the beginning of the game. In doing so, you will be able to carry certain elements of your previous playthrough, such as your levels and money. Since the clear data is special type of save data that is used to start a new playthrough, it cannot be used to load previous game progress. When saving clear data, it is recommended that you save in an empty slot or override a slot you never want. And so we actually have uh, cleared the base one. which is the uh, one that we did. You will now be returned to the start. You can start a new game plus, but play loading the clear data. A new game will be started while carrying over data from the cleared file. Data carried over can be newborn, carry over the minimum amount of data, reborn, carry the greater amount of data. In Newborn, enemy info, demon comedian, unlocked fusions, and certain miracles will still be uh, carried over. Recommended for those that wish to replay the game will prevent preserving the challenge of, of the combat. In addition to the elements from Newborn, the following elements for Reborn will be carried over. The Nahobino stats level miracles, demon your party, maka and items, minus key items and glory. Recommended those who wish to replay the game but with easy combat. But we did it. That's that's Shin Megami Tensei Five. We actually managed to get through the through the game, even though we still could do like the other three endings. I mean, we did it. We beat Shin Megami Tensei Five in fifty-two and a half hours of overall playtime. But what a ride! Just what a ride. But anyways, that's going to be it for Shin Megami Tensei 5. And, and that was a lot of fun. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. This is Light Brawler. And I hope that you're having a fantastic time. And I hope that you are also having the best time of your life. Well, maybe that's probably a crappy way of uh, signing off. But this is Light Brawler, and I'm hoping that you have a fantastic time, and I hope that you enjoyed Shin Megami Tensei 5.